hello everyone welcome back in this video we'll see how to onboard uh, non azure vms to azure for example the instances running on your on premise data center or running in any other cloud other than the azure so for example i'm going to use the instances running in the aws and uh, I have created one instance. This is the Windows instance. Okay, so it is running on Windows 2019 server. And uh, uh, we'll see how to onboard this server into Azure using the Azure Arc services. Okay, let me go to Azure Arc. Okay, so here under infrastructure, click on service and uh, here you can click on add. So here we can add a single server or add a multiple servers or add servers from the update management. So in this video, we'll see how to add a single server. Here, uh, this option will generate a script and uh, we need to run that script in the target server and uh, then it will ask for you log into the azure so that it will be added to this azure arc and uh, additionally for adding multiple servers we also need the service principal account so let me click on generate script and uh, here you can choose the resource group and uh, here you can select the region to which you want to add that uh, you know non azure instance so i'm going to choose the asia pacific central india and uh, it's going to be windows operating system and here the connectivity method you can choose either of them since uh, that instance have the you know internet access i'll be using the public endpoint and uh, you can click on next if you want to add any tags for filtering it you can choose these you know available tags or you can also put a custom tag and uh, click on next so here you can see the script which you can copy or you know download as a .ps1 file extension which you have to run in the powershell from that uh, non azure instance and uh, here are the steps uh, you know before you run the script uh, you need to make sure uh, the server meets the following uh, requirements so it should have the http access to the azure services the server require access to the port 443 and uh, the outbound url which you can see the list from this link and uh, you also need the local administrator permission on the non azure instance and uh, when you run this above script uh, it will do this following things like first it will download the agent from the microsoft download center and uh, it will install the agent on the server and then it will create the azure or enable server resource and it will associate with that agent and then we should be able to see under the azure r so let me copy this uh, script and uh, let me go to that uh, instance so this is running in the aws and uh, i'm going to open the powershell isc and uh, you can run as a administrator Okay. and uh, you can just paste that script here so here basically we are just uh, you know specifying the resource group in which uh, you know it will be added and uh, the tenant id and uh, here is the subscription id and uh, the location in which it will be added and uh, the authentication type and uh, the cloud 
which is Azure Cloud. And uh, here is the, uh, you know, the link to download this agent. Okay, so I'm going to run this script. Now it's installing Azure Connected Mission Agent. So let's wait for this installation to be completed. Okay, uh, so here we need to log into the Azure portal. Okay, looks like the password is not correct. Okay, you need to make sure this account has the proper access like contributor. Okay, authentication complete. You can return to the application. Feel free to close this browser. We can close this. And uh, here you can see uh, the installation of uh, AZM agent completed and uh, please log in using the pop-up browser to authenticate which is also done and we can close this browser also. Okay, now let me uh, go back to the Azure portal and uh, I can close this. Okay, now let me go to the Azure Arc and uh, under service. Now I can see the server that we just added. Okay, you can see the status connected and uh, it is added to the Central India region. And uh, so this is the so the cloud provider which is from AWS. Okay, and uh, from here we can do you know uh, other things like uh, if you want to monitor the server for any logs, we can do that, and uh, we can also you know schedule the updates for the non Azure VMs for regular patching as well. That we will see it in the uh, next video how we can you know add it to the update management center and uh, schedule the patching for the Azure VM and uh, non-Azure VM so that we can see it in the another video. Okay, so that's it in this video and uh, I'll see you in the next. Thank you.